Hey folks, Justin out on the water and I've got something new to play with today. I've got the new Z-Man Micro Goat. So this guy is going to be deadly. I, I've loved the Z-Man Micro Finesse range and this guy here, he's a micro version of the Goat. So he's like a squash grub body with a twin paddle tail that's going to create a load of action. And I reckon it's going to slay the Brim, Grunter, Flatties, Trevs, a stack of species are going to love this little Micro Goat. Let's get out and give it a swim, fish on. Ooh, a couple of rattles. We got a few rattles. That's a good sign. Might just be some little brimbos in there, but we'll see. behind it. Brim on it. <laughs> little brim ate it right at the yak. Uh, how cool is that? He, I saw him come up behind it, dropped it back and he just drilled it. That's pretty cool. Little brim to kick things off. Let's see if we can find a bigger one on this little micro goat. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, another little fella. Where there's smoke, there's fire. That's just hopping and slow rolling that micro goat along the bottom. Another little pocket rocket brimbo. We might creep out a little bit wider on this flat, and see if we can find a bigger fella. Oh, that little number two hook's pinned him right in the drill. Come on, mate. Alright, we're out and we're done. Little fellas, let's find the bigger ones. Oh yeah, the whole school of brim behind that micro goat then. Let's get out there again. Not big fellas, but that's pretty wild, a giant, giant school. There was probably four, probably four brim behind that. Before that one ate it and got flung out of the water. <laughs> Come on, where are you? Get back on there. Yep, yep, there we go. That feels a bit better. Just shaking that little goat along the bottom. Oh, that's a nice grunter. Beautiful grunter. What a fish. What a fish. That's pretty cool. Shallow flats, one to three kilo gear. Little micro goat. This guy liked the look of him. Have a look at that. pinned beautifully in the corner of the jaw. That'd be a nice getting up towards 40 centimetre grunter. Come on mate. Have a look at that. That's a nice chunk of grunter. Little micro goat wedged right in the corner of the jaw there. Beautiful fish. That's the midnight oil colour in the micro goat. And that's on a 1 8 ounce number two in the Headlocks Finesse UV jig head. And that's in the motor oil colour. So a really, really nice little combination there for twitching across the flight. So it's a beautiful fish. We'll get him off that micro goat and send him on his way. There we go, little micro goat. And that fish loved the look of that. See you, buddy. He's away. Beautiful. All right. Now that we've released that guy, we might send up again. So I'm just sending up with a bit of Pro-Cure. Whoa, she's a bit warm today, so it's coming out a bit liquidy. I only need a little bit. I'll give that a good covering. She's a hot day today. I wasn't sure how we'd go on the flats up here because it's pretty warm. 
thought it might be a bit warm for the fish up on here, but they're up here. So basically, I've got that 1 8th number 2 on there in that headlocks for an SUV. Midnight oil and motor oil, good combo, the motor oil head and the midnight oil and the plastic. And all I'm doing is punching a long cast. And then I'm basically just letting the plastic fall almost to the bottom and I'm giving it a few twitches. So I'm just fishing a shaking retrieve. So shaking and winding, give it a pause, shake and wind. And the bottom here is broken weed. So if it's dark, it's weed. If it's light, it's sand generally. So when, I'm, when I see that the plastic is in a sandy area, I can pause it and let it hit the bottom. So in front of me, there's a sand patch. So I'm gonna to go to the sand patch, I'll let it fall to the bottom because I'm not gonna catch weed where, where it's dropping there. Give it a few shakes off the bottom. Now it's weedy, so I wanna keep it moving. So I'm just gonna give it a few shakes and a pause. And then every now and then when I get to the sandy bits, I'll let it hit the bottom again. And that grunter ate it when it hit the bottom. When it hit the bottom, I started to move it again. Bang, he, he drilled it, so that was pretty cool. Well, we got our couple of little fish to warm up with, a couple of small brim. And then a really nice grunter that that was a, a beautiful fish a bit windy on the flat today which is which is a bit more difficult with the light head the 1 8 ounce head so need to keep your gear light so i've got the tt red belly in a one to three kilo 1000 same rhd akuma reel beautiful little reel and i've just got eight pound braid on there and i've got 10 pound leader 10 pound leader is in case we come across a flatty or a tailor or something that might want to chew my leader. Bit breezy as well, but that can often fire the fish up on the flats because they, they're not as spooky with that little bit of wind giving them some cover on the surface of the water. Also pushes bait around, pushes warm water around. Helps me control my drift on the flat as well. So we're just gonna keep picking our way along the broken weed beds and see if we can find another brim or a grunter. With the big tides we've had lately, there's a lot of loose weed up on top of the flats as well. So it can drive you a bit bonkers catching loose weed, but if you do that shaky retrieve, that'll often shake the weed off as well as you retrieve. Just give it that pause every now and then to get down a little bit further in the water column down to where those grunter might be, near the bottom more. The brim will hit it whether you wind it across the surface or drop it down deeper, but those bigger grunter that we're wanting to catch are down, generally down a bit deeper. So we let it fall a bit more to get them. We've had a bit of rain, so the water is a little bit dirty, but we've got the run-in tide. So we're making the most of that run-in tide and the clean water that's being pushed into the system. Once that tide turns to run out, that water's gonna dirty up quickly and the bite will probably drop off. So gotta make the most of the bites that we can get while this tide's running in. So we're just covering water, mixing up the retrieve a bit, hitting those deeper pockets and those sand pockets, seeing if we can stir up a fish or two. decent brim this time that's a nice brim up on the flats micro goat just shaking it we've just moved along a bit a little bit here to another patch of sand and deep pockets just a little brim boat good fun micro goat beautiful they love it they love that micro goat Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, John Herring. Oh, off. Man, John Herring. That was wild. <laughs> oh, what an insane fish that was. Smoked me. <laughs> oh, he was going at a rate of knots, that guy. <laughs> That's okay, we've got this other one rigged. Let's just switch it straight over and see if we can follow that up. He might have some mates with him. He was going off tap. 
bit of salt water yabby nipper. Those giant herring love prawns, and this little guy, he just looked like a little jelly prawn. That dude was all over that. Oh man, that was wild. Not surprised I got bitten off though. Giant herring will do that to you. Let's try that again. That was just a long cast. They're just working it back. Hopefully he's got a few mates in there with him. Time we're on the bloodworm and bloodworm. Oh, that's a nice brim. Have a look at that guy. That's a cracker brim. Bloodworm head, bloodworm micro goat. Oh, there you go. Nice brim on the flats. On the bloodworm and bloodworm combination that time. So our bloodworm micro goat. And our bloodworm one eight ounce number two hook. Beautiful. All right, we might rig up another midnight oil colour just so we've got two rods going again. Just got a handful of jig heads with me, but we're going to go that motor oil colour head with the midnight oil colour. out of the packet and gonna break those legs apart. Then we just want to feed it right through the middle like a worm. Feed it around till it touches that keeper. Punch it out through the back and then push it up over the keeper there and that's sitting pretty nice. We'll tie that back on, center up and have another go. Alright, I'll just tie that on. That guy on there with a locked blood knot. And that's then ready to go. Put a bit of scent on. Get it back in the water. I'll see if we can hook another one. Yep, 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 fish on. Oh, what are you, buddy? Oh, what are you? Pretty solid. Why? Good boy. Just giving it that slow shake, letting it fall to the bottom again. That feels fairly solid, this fish. Another nice grunter. The grunter are loving these little micro goats. Come on, buddy. Beautiful fish. There we go. Have a look at that boy. Settle down, mate. There we go. Beautiful javelin fish or grunter. That's the silver or the spotted. Pinned right in the corner of the jaw. Oh, come here, mate. That micro goat getting some pretty big bites today. A couple of nice grunter, some brim, and we lost the giant herring. See you later, mate. He's away back to the bottom. Okay, I've moved back out on the flat. That way I can blow back in with the wind. 
and use the wind to throw a big long cast more time with the plastic in the water more water covered and hopefully a few more fish yep yep fish on what are you buddy brimbo Not a big fish, but plenty of action on the micro goat. Perfect colour combo for this dirty water. That motor oil UV head, midnight oil colour in the plastic, so both UV. After that rain, I'm doing the job. Long pause that time. That drilled it on the long pause. Great fun on that light like gear. One to three kilo red belly. One thousand Akuma Sama. Eight pound braid, ten pound leader. Great fun. My favourite combo to fish at the moment for sure. He's cranky. Another nice grunter. All right, home. Oh. No doubt the grunter loves this micro goat. <laughs> they are drilling it. It's another nice grunter. So they're all legal size. Oh, those grunter that we've been catching. Because they are the silver or spotted grunter, javelin fish. Oh, see you, mate. Either way. And that is what's doing the damage. A deadly little combination. Motor oil 1.8 size 2 in a headlock finesse UV and that little double kicking tail. Don't know if you can see it in the water there, but it has two little tail, two little feet. It's like two little paddle tails kicking. Beautiful. Goat comes in a bunch of different sizes. This is the micro. And I love it up on the, I love micro baits up on the flats because a lot of these fish are just herding up jelly prawns or tiny bait fish. So these oh there's a tap. They're on it. They're on it, yeah, on it. See, might be a big school grunter there. Right, brimbo that time, felt like a brimbo. Like a grunter. There's a nice brim too. Hot little bite on the micro goat. So many grunter in a single session, they're loving this micro goat. See you, buddy. He's a bit smaller, that fella. Still good fun. All right, folks, there we go. A cool little session on the water, giving the new yak a run and getting stuck into some nice brim and grunter on that deadly little micro goat. So that's the latest release in that micro finesse baits range from Z-Man. To check out the next session where I'm fishing this deadly little plastic, you need to head over to Tackle Tactics TV on YouTube and give that a subscribe and stay tuned. There's a video dropping soon where my mate Declan Williams and I are out on the Brisbane River. We fish this little guy for some even bigger fish. So buckle up, make sure you check that one out. All the best with the fishing. We'll see you out there on the water. Fish on.